Once upon a time, in a small village near the woods there was a girl who lived with her mother near the forest. Whenever she would go out she would always wear her red cloak, so everyone in the village called her the Little Red Riding Hood. One day Little Red Riding Hood wanted to go to her grandmother's house since it had been a while they have seen each other. So, her mother prepared a basket with a cake inside it for Little Red Riding Hood to take to her grandmother. Remember, go straight to grandma's house, her mother cautioned. Don't wander off along the way and please don't talk to strangers. The woods are dangerous. Don't worry, mother, replied the Little Red Riding Hood, I'll be careful. As Little Red Riding Hood was going to her grandmother's house and admiring the flowers along the way until, suddenly she met a wolf, who came beside her and asked her where she was going in a voice as friendly as he could muster. I'm on my way to see my grandma who lives through the forest to give her this food basket Little Red Riding Hood replied. The hungry and cunning wolf then thought of a plan to distract her, and told her to pick some flowers for her grandmother so it would make her feel better so the wolf can go o her grandmother's house before her. The wolf rushed to her grandmother's house and lightly knocked on the door. It's me grandmother the Little Red Riding Hood said the wolf in the softest voice he could to trick the grandmother. The grandmother opened the door thinking it's the Little Red Riding Hood. When she opened the door it was none other than the big and bad wolf and he gobbled up the poor grandmother before she could say anything. Then he put on her clothes, put on her cap, laid himself in bed and drew the curtains. The wolf was dressed as the grandmother and was now waiting for the girl to come so he can eat her as well. When the Little Red Riding Hood finally came, she noticed something strange about her grandmother because she could barely recognize her grandmother. Your voice sounds so odd. Are you alright? She asked. Oh, I just have a touch of cold, replied the wolf and adding a cough at the end to prove the point. Oh grandma, what big ears you have, said Little Red Riding Hood all the better to hear you my dear replied the wolf oh grandma, what big eyes you have said Little Red Riding Hood all the better to see you my dear replied the wolf oh grandma, what big teeth you have, said Little Red Riding Hood all the better to eat you, roared the wolf and he leapt out of the bed and began to chase the little girl. She ran across the room and through the door, shouting, help, it's a wolf, help, as loudly as she could. Fortunately a woodsman who was chopping logs nearby heard her cry and ran towards the cottage as fast as he could. He grabbed the wolf and made him spit out the poor grandmother who was a bit frazzled by the whole experience, but still in one piece. Oh grandmother, I was so scared, sobbed Little Red Riding Hood, I'll never speak to strangers or wander off in the woods again. There, there child, everything is alright and you learned your lesson. The woodsman knocked out the wolf and carried him deep into the forest where he couldn't bother anyone, anymore. The Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother had a nice lunch and a lovely long chat that day. The End